let's go over how to record the internal audio when we stream record on our Mac computer. But if you're not familiar with the stream record option, I'll quickly walk you through it. It's not much to it at all. On your keyboard, press and hold the command button, press and hold the shift button, and then just press the number five. And it'll bring up this menu here. So from here on the left side, these are just for pictures. So you'll select that if you just want to do a simple screenshot or a picture. But these options on the right hand side are for recording videos. So you got this option here to record the, the entire stream. And this one just for part of the stream, you can adjust it to whichever part you want to record. And then when you go over to these options, you see the main option, you're not gonna see these options I have here, but you you will see the built-in microphone. When we record with the built-in microphone option, it takes in all the background noise. So it's recording outside of the computer, if that makes sense. So you get all the background noise. So it's, if somebody's talking in the background while you're recording, that'll come through. So now we went over the options, how to stream shot or stream record. Let's go over how to add this add-on here. It's called Black Hole. This add-on will allow us to record the audio internally. All right, so I'm gonna get out of this. Let's go to your web browser. And I'm gonna have the link to this plugin or add-on, whatever you wanna call it, down below for you in the video description. But from here, we just have to add our email address and name and then select the stride for free Mac download. If you kind of iffy or, <laughs> or afraid that you'll get a ton of spam and stuff like that, I had this for a while and I really haven't gotten much spam or emails from this company at, at all. And even if I did, I'll just press unsubscribe because we got what we want so we can just simply press unsubscribe if that does happen. But it hasn't happened to me yet. When you get the email, it'll look like this. So you just select the link. The link will bring you to this portion of the website. I don't know what happened there, but from here, you just have to select the option at the top to download the file needed to install the plugin. I'll walk you through it. So when you select it, it should drop down here. You can select that downloaded file, and then it'll just walk you through the installation process, which is pretty simple. Select continue, continue, agree to the terms, and then select install. I already have it installed on my end, so I'm gonna go ahead and, and jump out of this. Now, once we have it installed, we have to bring up the audio setup options. So from your search icon on the top right-hand corner, select that and type in M-I-D-I, -I. type in M-I-D-I. -I. So you see the audio setup here. Go ahead and select it. So you should see black hole here since we already installed it. Don't press it. <laughs> press the plus icon at the bottom of this window here. And select create aggregate device. Now we do have to name it. I recommend renaming it just so you know what to select later. Just something like internal, internal audio, whatever you like. You can go ahead and select enter to lock that in. And once you lock it in, go over here towards the right, find the black hole option and select it where it says use. So check that box where it says use. Now press the plus icon again, but this time select create multi output device. Now from here, we gotta make sure black hole is selected and built-in output is selected. This option here on the right doesn't really have to be selected or not for this process, but what we do need is for the built-in output to be at the top. It should be the master device. If it's not the master device, when you do try to stream record with the internal audio, you're not gonna be able to hear the audio as you record and that can make it difficult. So to bring it up to the top and make it a master device, just unselect the black hole option and then select it again. That's all you have to do. And the last step, while we're still on this window here, 
highlight multi output device right click it using the two finger press hold highlight use this device for sound output and then release to select it whenever you do do your stream record and you want to go back to the original output you just highlight the built-in output do the same thing right click it hold and then release where it says use this device for sound output we also have to change it back to that so we can control the volume because if you stay on this here I'll show you it's not gonna let you control the volume so just remember to always come back to this and whenever you're finished with your recording go to the built-in audio and make sure you set that back the way it was as long as we have the multi output device as the sound output option next time we bring up the stream recording option all we have to do is go to options and you'll see the option that I recommended you to rename so from here all you have to do is just select that and record away but besides that that's all you need to know hope this helped you out if it did just let me know down below y'all much love to each and every one of you I'm your downloading pirate and I'm out now